Welcome back to Spectrum. Continuing from the conversation that we left off in the last episode. This is bad. Audios was supposed to be helping Professor Kate with her research. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Commander, where are Audios and Professor Kate now? Are they okay? Kate was in her office. She's safe. I haven't heard anything on Audios. I want you to try to get over to the service bay right away and see what's going on. Defeat the crawl there and make sure Audios is safe. Rawlin, go to the weapons center on the first floor and pick up your equipment. Gina, you stand by in the patrol cruiser and wait for Rawlin to come back. Roger, I'll head over there right away, Commander. I'll hurry over to the weapons center. Gina, get the patrol cruiser ready to go. You got it, Rawlin. Nah, the patrol cruiser is top-down view. <laughs> Hang on a second, Rowan. What's up, Gina? I forgot to explain to you how to use the save pod. Save pod? I feel like I used this strange contraption in the first game, but I conveniently forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can use it to save your current progress. Not only that, you can heal all of your HP, too! So make sure you get in the habit of saving before you're leaving the patrol cruiser. You got it, Gina. Hey, there's a fancy little animation when you do that. Would you like to save your game? <laughs> Saving takes a little bit longer in this game. Hmm. I can dash, I can dash, I can do the dashy dash. I can do the Mega Man X style dash. Colin, I've been waiting for you. I heard about what happened from the command from Commander Grant. I finished making uh, making adjustments to all your weapons. Thanks, Dave. I better t I better take them and head over to the service bay. Whoa! Hang on a minute. I still need to check uh, check and make sure that they're functioning correctly. Okay, I suppose I don't have much of a choice. Let's do some field battle training. <laughs> that should show us if they're functional functioning properly or not. Okay. Go. Okay then, go practice till your heart's con to your till your heart's content in the training room. You can end the training by leaving the room. <laughs> Tutorial: Attacking with your sword. A sword is a powerful weapon and can be used to attack nearby enemies. Press the A button to attack with the sword. Go ahead and give it a try. You will damage any enemy you hit with your attack. With a attacking without locking onto a specific enemy is called free mode attack. Switch to lock on mode to make it easier to connect with your attacks. Just press the R button to lock onto an enemy. Go ahead and give it a try. Press the L button to cancel lock on mode. Go ahead and give it a try. Press the L button when not in lock on mode to reset the camera so it's facing forward. With some swords, you can pull off consecutive attacks. Attacking with gloves. Attack with your gloves to stun nearby enemies. Press the B button to strike the ground. Go ahead and give it a try. Press the B button. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Nearby enemies are hit with a shock wave from the attack. Are hit with the shock wave from the attack. Or that are hit with the shock wave from the attack. stunned. Tutorial, attacking with the blaster. The blaster is a great weapon for attacking enemies far away. Press the Y button to shoot the blaster. You can hold down the Y button to fire consecutively. Okay, this game has field battle and... Something called field battle and... Vortex battles, or crawl battles. In field battle, only Rollin attacks and you fight enemies called crawl dust. Huh. These enemies appear outside of the vortexes. Hmm. 
they're weaker than regular crawl and can be easily defeated with standard Nana Era weapons. They're kind of like, you know, since Spectrobes have child forms, think of Crawl Dust as child form crawl. Hmm. They drop orbs. The orbs can give you more experience to level up Rollin so that he can equip better stuff, or recovery orbs that refill Rollin's HP or his Spectrobe's HP. Hmm. Did you want to try this round of training again? No. Alright, I suppose that's enough for today. Your weapons look like they're ready to go. Oh yeah, I finished making enhancements to this. My Prismod! When I heard the word crawl, I got, I got started working twice as hard to finish it. You'll need this Prismod if you... You'll need this Prismod. You are a Spectro Master, after all. Thanks, Dave. Now I'm ready to take care of those crawl. Let me explain its functionality just to be safe. Sure. Better safe than sorry, right? Press the X button to open the Prisma menu. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> As you can see, I customized it just like you asked me to. Not bad, huh? Yeah, it's perfect. The Prisma is like a portable case. You can use it to carry around all your items. If you find yourself in a jam, opening it, opening it should be the first thing you do. Don't worry, I'll put it to good use. I definitely won't break it by the end of the game. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> He's going to break it by the end of the game. <laughs> if, if, there's, if there's something you want to know about the Prismod, ask the female officer by your cruiser. She's an intelligence officer and can tell you everything about the Prismod. Oh yeah, you got a call from Gina, your partner, Gina. I'll patch her through. Roland, what the f*** is taking you so long? Hey Roland, how did how training go? We went fine. Remember, this is Mr. Technique you're talking to. Well, that's good to hear. I was worried since it's since it's been a while and all. Anyway, the patrol cruiser is all set to go. Hurry back. Let's go. I'm on my way. Dude. The dashing function makes getting around a lot faster. I'm actually using the D-pad. <laughs> it's hard to do this dash maneuver with the analog thingy on the 3DS. Okay, Gina, time to set this new it's time to see what this new patrol cruiser can do. To the service bay. Let me explain how to use the new navigational system. Alright, but hurry! I'm really worried about all of yous. Touch the planet you want to go to, it's like da 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 da. Service Bay, here we come! Hang in there, old man! Yeah, the new navigational system is just like the old one. It'll always. If you're in. If you're on a planet and you select to go to the planet, it'll always try to take you to an area of the planet that you're not on. Huh. Collins Service Bay. These are what regular vortexes look like. <laughs> these must be this must be the crawl attacking the service bay. Better defeat them before innocent people get hurt. Roland, it's been a while since you had to battle. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, can you transfer over tutorial data? I'll use these crawl as practice. You got it, but remember, only the Spectres are powerful enough to battle crawl inside a vortex. Remember how useless you were in the last game? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be doing the battling, not you. Don't worry. When they battle, it's like I'm right next. To, it's like I'm right there next to them. A Spectrum Master doesn't just send his Spectrums into battle. He stands close by and gives them instructions. Kind of like another type of creature master. <laughs> Tutorial, battling spectros, use a control pad to move. Yeah, I figured that shit out. Quickly press up to perform it. Uh, yeah, it's just like with wrong. Press A to attack. No damage, uh, some spectros can pull off consecutive attacks. Attack range for each spectro is different. 
Yeah, the lock-on mode thing is just like with Rollin. Charge gauge. Basically, button mash the fuck out of things and hit crawl a bunch of times and your charge gauge fills up. Press the B button to do a special attack. Hmm. So, it's button mashing. And here's the spectrobes. Yay. And you're not even looking. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I can't switch yet. Is it a little bit easier to make out the details? I think so. I think the camera angle helps. <laughs> These are also much better models. Yeah, they are a lot better. <laughs> You're doing great, Rollin. Thanks. This is a great warm-up for, for the Spectrobes, too. Send along the next tutorial data. Switching spectrobes, press the X button. Whatever, whichever one you're not controlling, it's controlled by the computer. I wish I could have another player here to control the other one, but that's just simply not possible. Uh huh. Dun -dun. <laughs> oh. Uh, this cannot be good for my flash property spectro. There's Corona. I mean, there's a uh, not Coronas. Aurora's in here. One of my spectros is a Corona. <laughs> Two down, Gina. Transfer over the next tutorial data. Stay sharp, Rollin. You and your spectros can do it. Combination attacks. When the gauge gets full, press the Y button. And cool shit happens. Yay. By the way, you can double tap the side directions to kind of do like a strafing dodge. Anyways. Combo attack! They're a lot flashier than the previous game, and it doesn't change the screen, and they do a lot more damage. Cool. I don't like this battle system as much as the first games, though, because the first games was more strategic. You had to really think about what you were doing, and you had a lot more options. This game, it's pretty much button mash and occasionally press B or Y. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, there is some depth to it, and I completely skipped what they were saying. Uh oh. Reviving spectrobes. You can revive spectro. If the if one spectrobe goes down, it turns into a thing of light. You sh fill up your charge gauge, go over to the thing of light, and press the Y button to revive them. Hmm. There is some depth to the combat system because different spectrobes attack differently. Um. Yeah, you know, different spectrums attack differently. Like, this guy lunges, whereas my other dude does a three-part combo. Everyone has different special attacks. Um, so there is... It's not completely button mashing, it's... But it, it really does feel like going from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> oh, boy. The third game's battle system is just kind of an extension on this game's, but more depth added to it. <laughs> Phew, we did it. I was worried there for a second. What are you talking about? You did great out there. And a job well done for the Spectrobes, too. Better check around and make sure there aren't any more crawl in the area. Be careful out there. Walk up the counter where Hank it press your Kate is and press the A button. I would have done that anyways. I'm Roland of the Nata Aero Planetary Patrol. I was sent by Commander Grant to check things. Is everyone alright? Yeah, take care of this. Okay. Oh, so you're the Roland I've heard so much about. My name's Hank! 
You just defeated those nasty crawl that were trying to get in. You're just as strong as they say. Thanks. Hmm. Rollin, thank goodness you came. Professor Kate, are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. I'd love to sit down and chat, but we have a big problem. Audios needs our help. Huh? Did something happen to the old man? Right after the crawl attack, the ancient ship suddenly took off into space. There was a big explosion and the ship disappeared. Problem is, Audios was on the ship at the time. He was on board? Well, was he okay? Where is he? Gone, Rollin. He disappeared with the ancient ship. Oh no. <sighs> We're not sure what caused that exp uh, the explosion. And we have no idea where the ancient ship was headed. Oh man. Rollin, head back and tell Commander Grant what happened. If anyone would know what to do, it's him. We're on it! Okay, this episode ran a teensy bit long, but I can run back to the ship and save. Okay, see you guys later. Now that the tutorial crap is out of the way.